Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the latest military developments in the Philippines. Today, we're going to talk about two significant acquisitions by the Philippine Navy that are set to enhance its capabilities. So, let's get into it. On January 17, 2025, the Philippine Navy issued a notice of award for the procurement of aerial target drone systems specifically for the BRP Antonio Luna, one of the Hoso Rizal class frigates. The contract, with an approved budget for contract of 64.8 million pesos, was awarded to a joint venture between Israeli companies, Brovender Shai International Consulting and Marome Dolphin Limited for 60.91 million pesos. These drones will serve as targets for live fire exercises with the MBDA Mistral 3 surface to air missiles, testing and enhancing the frigate's defense capabilities. While Marone Dolphin is known for personal protective equipment and has recently ventured into autonomous defense systems, there's scant public information about their experience with aerial drones. This acquisition marks a potentially new chapter for them in drone technology. Another exciting advancement comes with the supply of materials for VTOL Precision Strike Munitions, awarded to Thunder Defense, a Makati-based company with Pakistan-Filipino ownership. With an approved budget for contract of 100 million pesos, Thunder Defense clinched the deal at 88 million and 80.00 pesos. Although the exact product remains undisclosed, there are hints that it could involve VTOL suicide drones, similar to those developed by Pakistan Ordnance Factories, capable of carrying mortar rounds with a significant range and loitering time. This move seems to leverage the Defense Cooperation Memorandum signed between the Philippines and Pakistan in May 2022, aiming to introduce cost-effective and proven technology from Pakistan into the Filipino arsenal, particularly for the Philippine Marine Corps. These acquisitions not only show the Philippine Navy's commitment to modernizing its fleet but also signal a strategic pivot towards enhancing both defensive and offensive capabilities through innovative drone technology. It's clear that the Navy is preparing for a future where unmanned systems play a critical role in naval warfare. We'll keep you updated as these projects progress, especially regarding the performance and integration of these new systems into the Philippine military's operations. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on military and defense news. Let us know in the comments what you think about these new developments and if you have any questions, we might answer in future videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.